everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jean Gagliotti, Mature Woman with the Younger Women's Makeup. Tonight, however, we are going to be uh, straying a little from that point of view and we are going to be talking about makeup that's actually marketed and targeted for the older women and it's going to be L'Oreal's Age Perfect. They've come out with a makeup line. Um, L'Oreal has uh, Age Perfect moisturizers that have been out for a while. I'm not sure how long, but the makeup line is relatively new. I think it's been on the shelves for... The first time I heard of it was about two or three weeks ago. Um, and so I don't think it's been around for more than a month or two. So before we jump in, I do want to read to you a little bit of L'Oreal's marketing and show you how they pitch it or read to you how they pitch it. Now I did have this up here already. Let's get it back. Okay, so this is what L'Oreal has to say about their age perfect makeup. Okay, the age perfect makeup line for mature skin includes serum concealers, smoothing foundations, creamy blush, and hydrating lipsticks so you can look as great as you feel. Put together a flawless look with moisturizing formulas that never settle into lines. Lightweight coverage that evens tone and subtle pops of color for a natural glow. Okay. And I want to um, start off by saying there are certain products that this line does not have. And those are primers, bronzers, contours, and highlights, and eyeshadows. So those are five products right there that is the whole reason that I'm gearing my channel towards younger women's makeup because facts are facts and I've looked up the demographics on many of the brands and many of today's brands with the, with the multitude of um, new lines and new brands that have come out are all geared towards the younger woman. We, as the mature woman, are presented with this line and right off the bat it's missing five, five, main items that I use. I use primers um, and also an eye primer, but that's not, that's a little bit more specific. That being said, let's start to prime the skin with Maybelline Baby Skin. We're going to use Maybelline Baby Skin. I love this primer. It's like a pure silicone primer. We're going to start. Are we okay? With a score of this, my face is absolutely clean. I moisturized it about an hour ago. I wore other makeup today, which I took off. And now I'm going to prime the skin with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. I don't see anybody doing this anymore on YouTube, putting their hands up and putting the product up. But kind of old school, so that's what I'll do. Okay, so now that we have a healthy dose of that on, I am going to go into the concealer, the Age Perfect Concealer. It is Radiant Concealer, the Age Perfect Radiant Conceal Concealer. Let's see, my shade is Natural Beige. Now I picked this up. It looked like it'd be a good shade for me. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to put on a little bit. Here, unlike other people I've seen use concealers, I don't go all under, all under, um, and down. I use a uh, highlight to do that. Which, actually, maybe I should do today since... This product, as I said, lacks a highlighter. So we'll do a little bit of what I normally don't do just because there are no highlighters in this line. And I am going to not add a contour, not add a highlight, uh, not add a bronzer. 
I just want this product to look and this line to look as it's going to look the way that it's sold with the products that they actually have out there. I am going to do a little eyeshadow. Um, just because I don't think a, a face look is complete without eyeshadow, but it's going to be very simple. It's going to be a monochromatic look. Okay, so let's get a little bit. Let's smear that in a little bit more. I am using my fingers and I don't feel that that gives much coverage. It gives some light coverage. I'm going to go in and put in a little bit more on the under eyes. I like a little bit heavier coverage. I can still see some dark coloration coming through, which I'm not a fan of. So the marketing did say that it would not enhance fine lines. I forget exactly the verbiage that they use, but fine lines would not be enhanced. So we shall see. Yeah, I'm not. The concealer is okay. The concealer is okay. All right. Normally I would use the Bye Bye Redness from it to cancel out my redness, but I do want to see what these products look like on their own. So we're going to go in with the Radiant Serum Foundation. Now I'm hoping this is my color. I only picked up one color. And this is in the shade, ignore that, golden beige. The finish on this, actually, this is coming out very nicely. This is covering very nicely. I do have to say that I think that primer is helping the coverage on this. And it's not saying whether it's a full coverage, whether it's a light coverage, whether it's a, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A tint, a, a tinted moisturizer, just a veil of color. It's not saying, it's not giving you any clue about coverage level, at least on the packaging itself. Okay. I do like the way this covers. It's a very light coverage, very natural looking. And the other thing I wanted to say about this is that on the packaging, it says it has um, broad spectrum SPF 50 and antioxidants. Now I would think for an aging, an aging, foundation that you might want to have collagen in there, hyaluronic acid in there, or something that's going to speak to its moisturizing effects since drier skin tends to come with age. But it doesn't say anything about collagen. It doesn't say anything about hyaluronic acid. It doesn't say anything about skin firmers, skin plumpers. Okay. I went ahead and I bought the Creamy Powder Foundation. So I guess there are two options for foundation, one being a powder and one being the serum. Since they had no powder in this line either, I'm gonna use this Creamy Powder Foundation as my powder, as my setting powder. And I'm gonna set with the setting powder right over the foundation. This is the shade 315 Natural Buff. I'm 
I'm going in a little heavy there. So let me spot it around. Okay, and again, I gotta say this is looking very natural um, and very, I think, complimentary to the skin. Okay, this comes with a nice mirror and it came with an applicator and a mirror in the base, which is nice. Okay, just for giggles, let's see if the, oh. Okay, so no brush comes with the blush, but a mirror comes in the blush, bottom of the blush compact. You would think, I almost think there might have been a little brush or something in here that somebody removed. Hmm, interesting. Okay, can't say if there was or there wasn't. Um, okay, I am going to put a little bit of this concealer on the lids to act as a primer. No, I'm not. No, let's do this instead of the, the primer that I brought. I did um, plan on using MAC uh, Painter, Paint Pot and Painterly, but let's be as true to this line as we possibly can and use only this line's products. So there's a little bit of concealer or primer in the form of concealer. Okay, next I'm going to go into the Age Perfect Brow Pencil. It's called Brow Magnifying Pencil, and this shade is Deep Brown. So, it says it's a fine point. It says that on the packaging, is this the packaging that it came in? No. This is the packaging that it came in, the Age Perfect Magnifying Pencil, and it does say it's creamy, blendable, it's soft, non-tugging pencil tip, and it's made with soft powder pigments. So, start with clean, brushed brows. And it does come with a tip, and ends for brushing, a spoolie for brushing, which is greatly appreciated because hard to do brows without brushing them, but it is very hard to get this off. My hands are kind of slippery from the primer. It's not twisting. It, does it twist off? It twists off. So let's brush the brows up. This, again, packaging did say it uh, has a, a fine tip ultra fine point. I do not find this to be an ultra fine point. Now, if you're going to talk about the, um, give me, no, not give me brow. Precisely my brow or the NYX brow pencil with the micro point. That's one thing, but this is simply a pencil. It's not, um, a self sharpening pencil. It's not an ultra fine point. Gotta say that. And it's kind of felt a little waxy. It did feel a little waxy there. Let's see. Okay. One brow, one brow done. Not bad, but the ultra fine point has become much less ultra fine. Okay. So this, in order to keep it somewhat pointy, it's going to need to be sharpened between every use because it flattens out 
quite a bit with use. It's not a hard kind of the, the precisely my brow and the NYX um, brow pencil with the fine point are harder pencils. So once you press them down, they don't uh, go in or press down or they're not soft. So this actually made my brows a little wider than those two pencils do because of the way it presses in and presses down. And it's hard to do this kind of pencil lightly, I find, because of the texture of the lead. It's not really lead, but of the color. Okay, so let's be done with the brows. So, so far we've used the powder foundation, the serum foundation, the concealer, and the brow pencil. I'm gonna go in and do, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette, I'm gonna use one shade and one shade only, which is gonna be Seaside, which is a gray metallic kind of shade. Seaside, we're gonna use Seaside today, just because we're not focusing on the eyes. It's not the focus of this uh, video since an eyeshadow is not even featured with this product line. I'm just kind of trying to get the product all over the lid, the crease. And under the brow bone, I went further out than I wanted to. And that cleaned up nicely, okay. All right, that's about as much as I want to do for eyeshadow today. Again, we're not focusing on the eyeshadows um, for reasons already mentioned. That's that. All right, so let's go into the liner. Another thing I want to say about the Age Perfect Makeup line is that there are no choices as far as pencil liner, um, liquid liner, different tips you can experiment with. This is a very limited basic line. This Age Perfect line is, is what I'm finding and discovering, you know, while shopping it and using it. This is a soft glide pencil. Is that what they say on the packaging? Satin glide, suitable for sensitive eyes, ultra smooth, creamy eyeliner, instantly defines eyes, soft glide formula, Ergonomic precision grip provide an soft glide formula and ergonomic precision grip precision grip provide an easy even application with comfortable wear and non drying feel. Lasting color, waterproof, suitable for sensitive eyes, smudge resistant, and ophthalmologist tested. Ergonomic precision. I wonder if that's something that is made with the older woman in mind. It's a little thicker than I typically like, but not terrible. And it did go on easy. There was no tugging. All right, that went on nice and easy. No tugging, easy glide. And it doesn't look bad. I do have to say I have the Benefit Bad Gal uh, eyeliners and I those tug, those tug and this glided smoothly. Um, again though, 
a very flat, very soft kind of product, but it did go on nicely, so no complaints. And there is like a kind of grip here. If you can see here, there's a kind of grip that does make it easy to hold. So I guess it is ergonomically correct. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the mascara and the scoop on the mascara is it's, it instantly, it gives you instantly thicker volumized lashes. It's the age perfect last lash magnifying mascara. Volumizing bristles, a formula with conditioning serum and a jojoba oil, and a delicate brush. I guess they feel like us mature women have brittle lashes, so that's why we need a delicate brush. I don't know. My hands are kind of slippery from that primer. Do I pull it? <laughs> hmm. Having trouble opening this. Here we go. Got it. Oh, I love that sound. Okay. Let's get the mascara on. Huh. If you can see, the eyeliner went into the waterline, and I didn't put it in the waterline, and smudged down here a little bit. And that's only, you know, within two minutes of putting on, so that's not good. If this is going to smudge around in two minutes, doesn't bode much hope for long wear. I'm not, f well, There are mascaras out there that I do like better. Better than sex. Um, Smashbox has, oh, it's in a red tube. I forget what it's called. But this is okay. It's not really magnifying or volumizing or lengthening. It is defining a little bit. Even the They Are Real Mascara by Benefit I like and this is not really up there with those mascaras okay plus it got on my finger a little messy okay so so far this is the look we've done eyes and complexion the bulk of the complexion I consider blush also to be complexion but we've done the foundation and the powder. Okay. Does this say it comes with a brush? Sweet blush on cheekbones for a rosy tone, radiant satin blush. Instant luminous color, silky smooth powder, enhances look of cheeks. Okay. So I'm going to take my blush brush. And this is where I put, I don't do apples of cheeks with blush. I just usually don't. I'm going to put some up here. The color on this was rosewood and still is. So I guess it simplifies makeup application for the mature woman since you're not doing a contour, a bronzer, and a highlighter. Maybe that's part of the idea. I do like a good contour though. Okay. We did put some color into the face. Um, and the last but not least, the last product we have to use for this line is the... Age Perfect Bright Mocha. It's not saying whether it's a moisturizing lipstick, whether it's, it's just not saying, but it does seem to be a moisturizing lipstick because of that white core. So as I said, this is in Bright Mocha. And no lip liners are
marketed. Now this is kind of waxy, makes me think it's not going to last long. It's not a stain, it's not a matte, it's not going to last long on the lips. And it's highly perfumed. But it doesn't taste funny. <laughs> Okay, so those are all of the products that they have to offer, and this is the what the final face looks like. I think it looks natural. I think it looks like a nice, light, natural touch of makeup. I don't think it really looks bad at all. I'm unfortunately not going to do a wear test because it is a little bit later on into the evening, so I will go to bed in a couple of hours, but I will give it a couple of hours worth of wear and I will let you know if the concealer has gone into the lines under the eyes, how it lasts at least for that length of time. And I'll let you know my opinion on it. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. The family is small, but the family is growing and I'd love you to be a member of it if you do like my content. Uh, hope to see you again. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Okay guys, hi again, just wanted to do a follow up. This is a different day, I'm not wearing the same makeup, but I do want to say that within 15 minutes after applying the concealer of the Age Perfect line, it did start to gather within my lines, in the fine lines under my eyes. So for a product line that's geared for the older woman, I don't find that an attractive or desirable quality not good. Um, I did not give it a long wear test and I will um, link Ali Glean's video because she did give it a longer wear test and she was actually I think much more fond of the line than I was but she doesn't have mature skin. I think she's 25 years old or 26 in that she's 25 or 26 because in a recent video she says she was just about to turn. She was almost 26 so she's either turned 26 or she's 25. So, um, anyway, that line of makeup gives me even more of an incentive to continue on with my channel that focuses on makeup for the younger women, but worn by the mature women, because there are so many more choices. Um, lines have bronzers and highlighters, eyeshadows, primers, the things that are not that are not included in the age perfect line for the older women. Um, so I do want to say that I've been doing some videos and makeup that has been geared to the younger women I've been focusing on and that has looked good on my skin. So I hope you'll continue watching for makeup that is again geared toward the younger woman but worn by the more mature woman, me, and enjoy all of the, the selection that is um afforded to us through those lines okay thanks again for watching take care hope to see you soon please subscribe bye-bye